The city of Santa Maria has a new mobile home model lease agreement aimed to help stabilize rental rates. KSBY News reporter Alex Gonzalez spoke with city officials and some mobile home park residents and has their reaction to this week's council vote. Alex? Good evening, Richard. The city of Santa Maria says they've met with park owners and residents over the past year to come up with the new model lease agreement. And while some say it's a step in the right direction, others are still not content. In a three to two vote, the Santa Maria City Council adopted a new mobile home model lease agreement Tuesday night, which will be in place for the next 10 years. So the model lease is meant to give those those residents another option if they're not offered a lease by their owner. While this won't cap rental prices on mobile homes in the city, something many residents wanted, it's another option for residents designed to prevent drastic increases while also giving park owners more revenue for park maintenance. Our negotiating team was making, and I think most of us as residents were making, the point was to, to help protect all the mobile home residents in Santa Maria, all of them. Unlike before, the model leases can now offer a second option for mobile home renters. I'm not sure yet personally if that's a good thing for me or for us or not. That's because the new agreement means the city won't consider a rent control ordinance for mobile home parks for at least the next 10 years. Now, before all of this can be put into place, park owners have to agree to it. As of this afternoon, owners of more than half of the mobile home sites in the city of Santa Maria have done just that. Reporting live and local in Santa Maria, I'm Alex Gonzalez, KSPY News. All right, Alex, thank you. No word on a specific date. This new program would begin, but the city says it could be just days away.